AFTV. Um, are you smiling? You're, you're the first Mate, person to come here today. Have a little smile. It is what it is, isn't it? You're going to lose games of football, and we lost a game of football today. Yeah, this is not the one to lose, is it? Ain't, it ain't, and we bottled. We, we, are we going to bottle it at the like right at the end of the season? It's very similar. We've seen this before. Earlier on, I was down the Holloway Road. I watched the uh, Liverpool Palace game, and the excitement, the jubilation of everyone, and coming up to the stadium, the atmosphere, getting in here, how we started the game. Within the first 19 minutes, we should have been three. We put, I think, we had five decent chances. Three of them really should have been in the back of the net mm. and that's a completely different game that completely changes everything and you know we need to learn to finish our dinner and uh, and we didn't we could have battled that game off at half time uh, I thought there were some fantastic fantastic parts I really love our defensive play at times in the first half the amount of times that I see Trossard busting the gut coming back in and that there was a couple of times that really saved us and 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 it was a bit of a back and forth game it was played at lightning speed you know I think we, we, we were unlucky and then obviously in the second half they bided their time and, and they got their opportunities, they took their opportunities. Unai Emery, and listen, I, I sort of hate to say it, but it is what it is. I remember he got booed out of the stadium in a very, very toxic place. He went on to Villarreal, he won the Europa League, and then he's got, he got a Villa team that were literally facing relegation uh, after Stephen Gerrard. They were in bits. He's brought these players in, and listen, he, he's got a really good team together, and they've done a number on us. His substitutions, he made the substitutions at exactly the right time, uh, and those are the substitutions that changed the game. Ollie Watkins gets put through, uh, and, and, and and, and it's off, it's in the back of the net, it's, it's, it's two, it's done. Uh, one thing I don't like to see, if I'm honest with you, which I, I don't think helps, after 85 minutes we go 1-0 down stadium. and the stadium, stadium starts em emptying. Personally for me, I'm very, very grateful and I'm a very, very lucky man to be able to come and watch football at this stadium. Yeah. And I'll stay here even if we were 7-0 down until the 98th minute. That's just me personally. That's just how I see it. Mm. But I, I, I think that this is definitely a time where we need to get behind the team. Uh, we've, we've got, I, 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 I'd like to say we've got one eye on Bayern on, on Wednesday night. Like that, that, that is... Uh, so we need to keep all eyes on this. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we're getting yeah. one eye on that. Yeah. Uh, 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 and, you know, I mean, you break it down pretty well. But yeah, they've done a number on us again. They've yeah. done the double over us, but it's not the time. This was the wrong time for them to do the double over us because we needed to win this game badly. Yeah, this is a critical point in the season. But, you know, at least Liverpool, if Liverpool would have won, um, then, you know, at least you can take that. Personally, I think the problem is, is I can't see Man City slipping up. I think there's potentially two games. Brighton could, Brighton are very inconsistent side. They can finish off teams and they can get surprise results. They are capable and there is that Fulham game. But I think something could happen there. You don't know, look, this is Premier League football and this is why it's so exciting and this is why it's so great. It is still technically a three-horse race. I thought after today, before the game, I thought this is going to go into a two-horse race. I thought we're going, to, we're going to get the win, we're going to push on, but it doesn't always go on like that. Listen, we came away, listen, there's no injuries. You know, we, we, we came with some integrity. There were some, there were some positive parts of play. Um, it, it, it's, listen, it's not an ideal result. It never is losing, but it's, it's part and parcel, unfortunately, of football. Finally, do you think we can still win the league? I, I do. I generally, I, I believe. I, you know, I, why, why can't we? They, you know, ma mathematically, we can do it. We've got the team. We've got the squad. We've got the depth to do it. We've got, you know, an amazing manager. We've got, you know, an amazing stadium. We've got, we've got everything. We've got all the qualities, all the attributes necessary to do this. We can win the Champions League. It's on our day. We can beat any team. And I've said this before. And, and, and that's that's it. We can we can beat any team here, home or away. It's how we set out. And I think Mikel Arteta today got a few. I, I, I don't I, I don't understand the Ben White substitution for me. Zinchenko needed to come off. Tommy Asubrino. I think definitely if we get if we get a Durian Timber that that Durian Timber literally just before he got injured and how he was playing. If that guy comes back in now. That that is a situation. That is a position that is a, an issue for us. It is that is there's there's too much there's too much change, and it's not like this is the guy that needs to play there. And if he comes back as that player, I think it's safe to say that 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 would be the the missing piece. Another thing, Ollie Watkins. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind having him here because he can finish. He's a good player, and he, he looks good. 
And one last thing I'll say as well, well done to Bayer Leverkusen for smashing the Bundesliga on our ex-player, Gra uh, Granit Xhaka. He's gone to Bayer Leverkusen and they've won the league in fantastic fashion, absolutely destroying every team and, and respect to him. He was a great player for us, you know, a, an absolute legend. And he was another player who went from literally zero to hero in a way that he got booed out of this stadium, was going to leave and he changed it round and ended up being a fantastic player for us. A real exceptional operator on the ball mm. being able to distribute play and that sort of mental resilience that's why he's gone there and he's played a massive part in that so well done to him